Howdy, folks! This is your host here, Banner 073, Cruising Land, Thun, the Rope, and pulling it out of Cough Park with the handbrake. And oh my god, has it been a long time since I recorded a video in this game. <laughs> Pretty much six months, to be exact. <laughs> the last video I recorded was my Scarlet Rain overview. Holy crud. Six months? Wow. That's gone quick. Anyway. Besides all that, and one quick little bit of news, is that I will be doing a Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Let's Play. That's my first Let's Play of 2019, just due to the fact that Nintendo is ending their creators program, which allows everybody to post Nintendo content with very little risk of a content ID, let alone copyright strike. Which is awesome, because that's another Let's Play and I was hoping I could do one, and I get my wish. And so there are probably other people who are looking to do one. But anyway, today we are doing a Letha overview in Axel World vs. Sword Art Online. And well, let's just say it's been a long time coming. <laughs> See, this is how excited Letha is. She can't help but have a slash attack. Woo! And fall to the ground. Oh, and for those who are wondering, she is nicknamed the Speedaholic for the obvious reason. Doesn't really show in the game, but that's what she's nicknamed. And yes, I'm running a rank 10 sword. Anyway, to her skills. So pretty much as a sylph, which is a race based around wind, her primary element clearly is going to be wind. And as an overview for her stats, we've got obviously I'm doing this level 1200, so every character will be that. If you can remember that from there, from like six months ago, kudos to you. But if not, level 1200 is the level I'm doing it at. If you're a new one person who's new to viewing this series, so which means I've gotten a maximum HP and MP. That's that may or may not be buffed by what I have equipped at the time. But I'll go through that with my build anyway, so that doesn't really matter. But basically, the stats that I got are I was level 1200, 11,650 HP, 7,000, wow, that's a very specific number of MP actually, 7,207. Physical attack with 2260 plus 46 darkness attack. I had nothing on the other three stats there. And 36 elemental resistance on wind. But anyway. Wind resistance doesn't really mean a well, yeah, yeah. elemental resistance doesn't really mean a lot. It's more elemental attack is what you want, especially against bosses in the infinite transition dungeon later on. So anyway, passes we've got obviously one-handed sword, katana, and rapier. Which allow you to use skills of those weapons to increase wind damage and wind resistance. Stamina efficiency up. Now for those who are new. It, as you can see there, and it helps being actually able to see the descriptions as I scroll down too. So, and I will state now, I probably should have said this before, but if I'm going too quick, by all means, pause the video. For the same reason, as you can see, reduces stamina cost to all actions, so that could be jump, running, things like that. Increase MP, increase maximum MP. Now, of course, without these sort of increase MP and HP, you're probably looking for MP for Leafa. I don't know, 6,000 probably. The stats never really given without the passive increases because you get those as you level up. So, and then HP, I don't know, 9,000 probably because still it's not the best price for HP. And increase ailment resistance, speeds up recovery from status ailments such as paralysis, which basically you class a stun or those two different things. But any stats or anything else, sleep. Stun, paralysis, things like that. Increase magic resistance redu reduces the damage taken from enemy magic attacks, which is your elements basically. And that's why I mean the elemental resistance itself doesn't really matter because if you, get, you, you get passive, you get a passive ability to reduce the damage anyways. It, all your elemental resistance does is give you a slight boost to, towards resisting magic anyhow. Or if you happen to have a physical. Variants. You can have the 
can have an element of resistance there as well, but magic doesn't account for physical with a different stat, as you can see on the right-hand side of the screen. Reduced magic cast time. Reduces spell casting time. Now, a few of these abilities will have a plus per side, which means it further increases that ability. So increased magic attack is pretty self-explanatory. Reduced cooldown reduces the cooldown of any special skill. So that can be magic att magic attacks or sword skills. Yeah, switch boost increases damage multiple time when switching. Now that is useful depending on how you want to run your character. I don't personally do a lot of switching, but it is useful when you do. Skill connect boost increases the damage multiple time when performing a skill connect. That is very very handy because you'll be hitting, connecting skills a lot of the time to deal the most damage possible. Increase wind damage plus further increases power of wind attacks. So basically that is an enhanced version of this one. And that's the same as all the pluses there, an enhanced version of the other one. So reduced magic cast time plus, further reduces your spell casting time, and I've actually got an item on that will reduce that even further. Because Sills are more of a magic base race, actually, it's actually quite handy to have. Increased wind resistance plus, further reduces damage from wind attacks. Increased MP plus, further increases your maximum MP. Increased magic attack plus, further increases the power of your magical attacks. Increased magic resistance plus, further reduces the damage taken from enemy magic attacks. Stagger knockdown, or stagger slash knockdown resistance up. Basically reduces the chance of being staggered or knocked back, or knocked down from enemy attacks. Basically that generally happens when they use either heavy attack, or get a really good attack out on you. Generally, generally happens from a boss more than anything. Can be handy, but against some bosses it doesn't make a difference. It's a very handy, very handy passive to have, but again, just some bosses just seem to ignore it, from what I've seen, from my personal experience anyways. Switch extend increases the length of time that enemies are staggered for when hit by a switch attack, which is very handy if you've got to switch out, switch out a damaged character. Or, you can do the switch and then switch back to another character by L1, and then use that extended knockback or instead of staggered time to heal or something. Or you could do that and then tell your party to heal, whatever you want to do, or use an item, something like that. Boss Killer, which is a little bit of a misnomer, but it makes sense when you look at the description. Increases damage dealt to bosses. Now, all bosses have Norse-themed names from Norse mythology, like Gungnir, Vidafnir, uh, who else can I think of the top of my head? Thok, Loki, just to name a few examples, there are many, many others. Fafnir for another one. Odin, you know, things like that. All Norse based names. You know, increase one handed sword damage, increase one handed sword, and Katana, Rapia, the same thing. And of course, these are just the master titles. So if I get now that, that little bar you see up to at 100%, I get the one handed sword master, Katana master, and Rapia master. Now, basically, all it does in my Kirito, I would show you, because I've actually done it with Kirito and Dual Will, but. Basically, just further increases damage with sword skills based on those weapons. That's pretty much all it does. And anyway, sword skills we have one handed sword. You would have seen these a couple of times as other characters have a one handed sword or all the weapons that Leafa has, but. Anyway, Rage Spike, Slant, Circular Arc, Meteor Fall. Horizontal Square, which reappears in just about every Sword Art Online game, including Fatal Bullet, which is a very handy skill. Sharp Nail, which again also reappears. Radiant Arc, Wolf of Strike, which also reappears, and Nova Ascension. That would be a very, very handy skill against bosses in Fatal Bullet. Trust me. On to Rapiers, Stinger. Hit and run, fake out, oh, where are we? Oh, I would just say dart stage, I'm not doing Yu-Gi-Oh today, fire out, quadruple pain, sonic impulse, piercing territory, 
Shooting Star, and Star Splash. Now I believe a technique by the name of Star Splash actually increase them. Um, appears in Fatal Bull, but not with the same style of move that this one does. I will have to double check that, even though that'll be a video I'll be doing at some point anyhow once I've got all the skills. Anyway, on to Katana now. Leaf actually has an an OSS or original sword skill for Katana that's attained during a story event. Or a little more of a side story event actually, but still. But when it's called Cyan Blade Combo. Now I'll be doing a video showing all the all the OSS skills anyhow, but essentially I well I uh Apparently, being using it, as I said it on leave for at some point, in real year, so can unleash a powerful five hit combo. I must have given it to Leafa. Why do I think that was a defense based one? Anyway, Sujikaze, Kiyogi, Kureyu, Keichin, Kyongji, and that's pronounced, that's just French literally, Kyong, as in Ki Ong. Like the English word Ki, but just with that Ong on the end, so Kyongji. That's more of a Chinese based name, can't tell you what it translates as, unfortunately, but it's probably one of the worst katana skills, and it's it's hilariously funny to use. Zangetsu, or Zangets, which you'll probably often hear me say it as. And that's probably the best katana skill in the game, including back in Lost Song. Oborotskyo Kyo Kuyo, you fool! Oborotskuyo. Rashomo. Now, of course, some of these are better off at a slight range, like Rashomo, but again, it depends on really what sort of tactics you want to use. Now, for attacking magic, she has level 1 and 2 of every magic but wind, in which case she has level 3, so she has level 1 and 2 fire being fireball and flame blast, level 1 and 2 ice being Ice Bullet and Freeze Lance, or Water Magic if you want to call it that, because Undines are a Water Ice, so it should actually be Water Magic. Level 1, 2, and 3 Wing being Wing Cutter, level 2 being Tornado Cannon, and level 3 being Tyrant Hurricane. Level 1 and 2 Dark being Dark Sphere and Void Distortion. Level, oh, she has level 1, 2, and 3 Holy Magic, whoops, or Light Magic if you will. Lightning Arrow, Holy Lance, which is broken in Lost Song, although they, they fixed that. And Divine Ray, which is it's reliable, but you got a bit not so reliable against bosses. Now she has a level 4 magic. Bifrost Resonance. Now of course she's not the only character that I believe. Primarily Asana, Persona Vival, Leafa, and a handful of other characters have it. Um, it's probably not the best magic in the game, but at a higher level, it's quite destructive. It more requires you to lock on to multiple targets, unfortunately. In support magic, we have first aid, heal, refresh, which is just a much better version of heal. Resurrection, as its name suggests. Revive. Now, revive is a personal version of resurrection, but only can be used once. Quick, resist arrow. Resist Holy, Enhance Arrow, Hiding, Hollow Body. Now, of course, Resist is to increase defense or reduces damage and enhance increases the increases your attack power by a very small margin, but also giving them that elemental damage. Exactly how elemental damage works when you've got a weapon that already has elemental damage on it, I don't know. Never really bothered to test that. Uh, special skills are just stuff put on by your weapons. So of course I got an Ed Paralysis 144 from Demon Blade Mortal Master, which is a rank 10 katana I spoke of early on. The max HP plus up from the Glittering Ring. Strength, which gives me a higher physical attack, I believe, from the Balrog Choker. And Wise Talon gives me a cast time short. So that's that. And of course... Clearly, my build. The increase the physical damage battle, what's up? Now, I've gone for a, more, a slightly more 
bulky physical variant myself, but I'm still quite balanced with magic due to the spells that I've got equipped. I'm also going for katana variant because I prefer the katana for it. Now, of course, also, as you would have known at the start of the video, I've got Leafa's regular outfit on, and that's primarily due to the fact that if I were to run to her in the outfit that I normally have her in, it would probably be a little bit too risque. Because her normal outfit is a bikini. Now, I know I showed all the outfits in a character showcase series of videos quite early, quite early on, like, what would it be now? It's nigh on 12 months ago, probably. But, yeah. Again, but these years I've heard them in all obviously you see them in what you would call quote unquote their true colors. So my yeah, this is let's say I'm doing a bulky physical attack variant that has pretty decent magic attack as well due to the spells that I have equipped. Which speaking of spells I need to build my shortcuts. But if the skills I've got obviously all the katana skills, including including OSS, but for magic, I've got Tyrant Hurricane, First A, the Quick Heal, myself, Holy Lance, or herself, being if she's running as an AI or I'm taking her, take the over, and I've also got Heal and Refresh to give a Quick Heal to allies as well, or full, basically a full heal. Resurrection, now I will tell you a little trick with Resurrection right now, and I will go over it in skill videos anyway, which I am yet to do, because I haven't got all the skills that every character has been, as, a, as you know, it's been six months, and I've barely touched the game in that time. But that doesn't matter, but anyway. With Resurrection, what you want to do is not let your AI companions use the skill if you can. Use it yourself. Because for some reason, if you use it, and then you revive a character with it. You revive them with full HP compared to your AI companions who revive it with half HP. And you then it's full HP regardless of the level too, if I remember correctly. But anyway, it also has quick, wind cutter, lightning arrow, bifrost resonance, revive, divine ray, and just a little bit full HP equipped. Breeze lance, tornado cannon, and fireball for a little more coverage. And quicker casting spells. Now, if I were to give some tips for Leafa's setup, it would definitely be concentrate on a on the physical attack, just so you can quickly dispatch enemies if you can't use magic. But if you're wanting to run a magic variant, by all means, equip her with items to boost her magic. Because the silver, she's got a pretty good magic, magic attack. But at, also, as I said, she's a more balanced race, so it's more of a matter of personal preference. Now I know I'm in a low-level area here, but I'll give you a rough clue of what I'm going to come here to the slides. It'll be much easier. But it's L1 and R1 to change character. I got that wrong. L1's lock on it, so. Like, Katana is a relatively slow sword variant, but it's faster than a great sword. So you can see, I'm just dealing base pretty much 94, 9500 damage straight up. If you move slightly, you can take. See, these are gonna take. Oh, I See, they're gonna take a little less because they're a little bulkier in it. Now, if I take one of these. So if I were to go higher enemies, I'd be using sword skills, which if I use one right now... I, there you go, I even got a free level for it. 34,000. Like... Oh, missed. Hang on. See if I can prove... See if I can give you an example why Sun gets is so OP. Maybe not gonna happen here, but... Let's try it again. No, not gonna happen. Generally, you can hit, hit, hit half a dozen enemies with it and just literally dispatch them quickly. I could give you an example over here where I got a lot of slimes I can use it on. Now, she's also not the fastest flyer either, even though she's called the Speedaholic. Because remember, this is not based necessarily on the anime, so. Okay. I'm in a viable area. 
That was not a good use of the skill. But you can see it took out a handful of enemies. Look at that, that's just dispatched half of what was sitting in front of me there. It's not the greatest skill when you got elevation around you, but when you've got a clear shot, you are gonna you are just gonna wreck things. Most katana skills have a reasonably wide area of effect, which is why I prefer to use it. But again, as an advice, physical attacker, I would concentrate on something like, like katana because of its power. The higher rank katana like Demon Blade Mortemasa, the better. Uh, what else? What I'm saying? Magic attack, definitely, definitely go for it towards wind because that's our primary element. If you're going more balanced, try and strike a balance between the two because silks are quite balanced as it is. I would preferably lean more towards physical myself rather than magic, but your own build, your own builds. I can't tell you how to build the character, but I can at least give you some advice. Like, we're wanting to equip, say, magic based items, like. <laughs> <laughs> like you could uh, reduce cooldowns if you only for a physical style. Wow, I didn't realize that. There you go. It's fantastic if I wanted to. I'll just run to there. Must be the necklace. Yeah, necklace is the magic base. So you, you and somewhat physical, I suppose, but the, it depends. If you got a magic base, I want to have these sort of things, like Gyre Loop, Acro Loop, those sort of things to increase your elemental damage. But again, how you want to build the character is completely up to you. But magic base, I would concentrate on our main element being wind and a little bit of coverage as well with others. Physical, definitely Katana would be my pick, but again, that's your own thing. Anyway. How did I just turn around like that? Anyway. So, yeah. I'm going to head back to my, back to the portal. And clearly, as you can see, she's not the fastest character. But then again, there's a speed of holic, you would think she'd be faster, but I don't really care. You gotta be able to hit the enemies as you go past, I suppose. There's Kyung Ji. As I said, it, 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 no, just no. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Maybe we get another skin here, which, whatever the hell that was. I think that might have been, no, that wasn't our sign, like, come. It was! Whoops. I think we showed that skill off. I got a bad access to emotes. It's so long. Oh, hang on. There we go. I knew I'd find it. So, anyway. That's my little overview slash tips and things for Leafa. So, if you liked this video, Please be sure to hit that like button, and if you really love it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And of course, leave a comment down below and a like. If, uh, sorry, said, whoops, I said that twice. <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, leave a comment down below, and what else can I say? Hit that notification bell. And when you do, please be sure to select that all, I should be notified of all my uploads. 
And besides all that, I will say don't forget to follow me on Patreon if you want, if you decide to. The link for that will be in the description down below. With all that being said, this is Bandit0073, smoking up those tires, burning that rubber on out of here, and signing out. Adios.